Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before I say anything, I'm just gonna address the fact that I'm terribly sick right now. So if you are new to my channel, please keep in mind that I don't always sound like this. <laughs> my voice is somewhat tolerable. Also, I mean, if you're new, may as well also say subscribe if you'd like because I put out new videos and I put them out very often, multiple times a week, and I think you guys will enjoy them. Also, if you like it, give the video a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below on your thoughts about this topic that I am about to talk about because this shit is crazy. So I'm really struggling to talk right now, but honestly, like, my mind is so fucking blown right now that I just had to make a video, like, today. I'm talking about Mandela effects. So if you're familiar with the Mandela effect, then I'm just gonna give you a time on the screen to go ahead and skip to because I know it gets very repetitive when you're someone that looks it up avidly like I do. So go ahead and skip to that if you already know what the Mandela effect is. So if you don't know what the Mandela effect is, it's basically when a bunch of freaking people remember something a certain way and they're all so sure of it, okay? Everyone remembers it in this one way, but Turns out it's never been that way the whole time. So why do all these people remember this? Why is it that all these people have this specific thing in mind and can literally say it to you without even having to ask them, but when you pull up the facts and you Google search that shit, it's something like completely different. Basically people are saying that it's like time travel, that someone goes back in time, changes one little thing, and that's why you don't remember it ever changing. It's just all of a sudden it's something new, but everyone's like, no, 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 when I was a kid, I remember it being this way. So I'll give you guys the main one that everybody knows. Like if you've ever heard of the Mandela effect, you know this one, it is the Berenstein Bears, okay? Close your eyes. Picture out the title, the Berenstein Bears, in your mind, okay? Just do it. How was it spelled? Berenstein Bears. B-E-R-E-N-S-T-E-I-N, right? Berenstein Bears. The Berenstein Bears. No. No, no. It's the Berenstein Bears. Like, stain. Like, like stain. The last part, S-T-A-I-N. Like, what the fuck is stain bears? Like, we know the word stain as a child. We would pronounce it the Berenstain Bears. I can vividly picture the book saying Berenstain Bears. Like, I know it said Berenstain Bears. What is the Berenstain Bears? I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But that's like an introductory Mandela effect. So like I said, if you don't understand it, I think you should know. Oh, it's basically when just one little thing is changed, no one remembers it ever changed. Everyone remembers it a certain way. They look at it now and it's completely different, but everyone's like, what the fuck? Okay. So why is it that all these people remember? I don't, I don't know. It makes my head hurt. Okay. So today I'm going to give you a bunch of new Mandela effects that I've recently discovered. I've been looking it up all week and maybe you've heard of these, maybe you haven't. I have found these from other videos, from sources online, from websites. I'm not the one that found these myself. <laughs> I'm like, no. I hope you guys enjoyed that your minds are as blown as mine were when I first saw these, okay? Okay, so the first one I'm gonna tell you is one that really tripped me out for a second because, mm, I don't know. So, close your eyes and picture the Monopoly guy, okay? Like, just like really picture him. Picture what he looks like, what he has on his face. Does he have a mustache? Does he have glasses? Does, whatever, just picture what he looks like. So does he or does he not have a freaking monocle? Like the monocle when it's on your eye and it's like hanging. Like he has a monocle. He has a monocle. Like, I don't understand. No! Turns out he doesn't have a monocle. Turns out he just, he just, he's just there. He's just there. No glasses, no nothing. Just a bare ass face. Like when did that happen? I don't know because I remember him having a monocle. I had the game, obviously, who didn't? I had the Super Nintendo version of the game and he had a freaking monocle. And now he doesn't. And I'm just very confused okay this one really messed with my mind <laughs> it really fucked me up okay sketchers sketchers how is it spelled it's spelled s-k-e-t-c-h-e-r-s no bitch it's sketchers without a t it's sketchers with a ch only what is life what is that sketchers what? <laughs> what like look at the logo does it look right to you it looks wrong it doesn't look right when you look at it you notice there's something off like you wouldn't even have to mention Mandela effects to me but if you were to show me the logo i'd be like why is it spelled wrong like what is that like what is, there's t <laughs> This one just really messes with me because I know there's been a T in it. What? Okay. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. What does the person say when they look into the mirror? Um, the evil one, I forget. But she goes, mirror, mirror, on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? <laughs> no. It's magic mirror on the wall. It's magic mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest? No. Magic 
mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? Wait. Wait. So this is one that I think every single person will agree with me on. When you hear the song, We Are The Champions, think about that last line, the ending, the finale of the song. Just, just listen to the song in your head and just think about that finale, okay? Because we are the champions, we are the champions. <laughs> I can't sing right now. Because my throat, obviously, like, okay, so it goes, we are the champions of the world, <laughs> right? Right? No, 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 no. Of the world's never been in it. It's just we are the champions. Like, just, just take it. Does that not just like sound naked to you? Like, there's just, it's just like the song cut off. Oops, sorry guys. I actually pulled the aux cord out. Like, there's a piece of that song missing, clearly. OxyClean. OxyClean, like oxygen, OxyClean, O-X-Y clean, right? Wrong, no, it's OxyClean with an I, O-X-I clean. Like what the fuck is Oxy with an I clean? Is it what, like, I can picture Oxy in my head with a Y, like it's just always been a Y and now it's an I and I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Sing the song on the first day of Christmas, the first line, okay? Just sing it out loud. On the first day of Christmas, my true love... Finish that sentence, finish it. My true love gave to me. Oh no, apparently no one was given anything. They were sent something because it's on the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me. What, sent? Sent, sent, what? <laughs> no. I remember singing this in elementary school. Like we did like these Christmas choir things or like chorus things where like we'd all go in the gym and sing Christmas carols and we sang that song. And we sang on the first day of Christmas my true love gave to me. And we got the lyric sheet and it said gave to me. I remember it saying gave and now it's sent and it's really messing with my mind and I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, this one is one that I've noticed that a lot of people like, it's like kind of like 60 40 on this like some people just remember it being like this some people don't but this one is Cruella DeVille remember 101 Dalmatians that evil ass bitch with like the hair like Melanie Martinez in 2012 <laughs> like okay so Cruella DeVille how do you how do you spell it I spelt it Cruella D-E-V-I-L-L-E -E. Cruella DeVille like Ville no it's Cruella D-E space V I L. What? I just don't get it. When did that happen? I don't know. I don't know. But yes. So those are my Mandela effects for the day. I only did some of them. I have a list of a whole bunch more because if you guys enjoy this, I will do a part two. So if you do want a part two, thumbs up, leave a comment down below. But yeah, I hope your minds are as blown as mine were, and I hope I gave you some new ones if you're already familiar with the concept of the Mandela Effect. It's honestly so, so confusing. It really messes with my mind, and I just, I don't know. It's just so messed up. It kind of scares me because I just feel like time travel exists. I feel like you're ignorant to think that time travel does not exist with the way the technology is going right now. We can do so much right now, and to think that people have not, like, created time travel somewhere in the future, gone back in time to us now, which is the past, you know what I mean? And fucked with some things, gone back from this time in the present to back then and fucked with some things. It's just like, it's just so obvious that it's possible. I don't know, do I sound like I'm crazy? Because maybe, I mean, I am crazy, but you know. So I just feel like someone somewhere is going back and changing small little things. And there's a reason why they're changing these little minuscule things. Maybe, maybe Berenstein Bears wasn't as successful with an E-I-N. Maybe it's more successful with an A-I-N. I don't know. Like. I don't know, but it's it's possible and it exists and it is real. The Mandela effect is real. I just feel like if you don't believe it, like you just how how my sister doesn't believe it. 
Um, but yeah, if you don't believe it, let me know why. Because I'm very curious as to why you think it's not true. I'm so curious why you don't believe it. Because I don't understand why you wouldn't believe it. So just like, not even in a hate way. But just like, let me know in the comments why you don't believe it. Because I would love to know. Once again, if you want to see part two, make sure to leave me a thumbs up and comment. And subscribe for more Mandela effects or whatever else you want to see. Okay, so thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You better have because I am struggling to talk right now. I'm going to go sip some hot chocolate and make another video. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, stay cute. Bye.